Hello everyone, and welcome to another Plasma Prints video. Thor's GFCI has been tripping lately at 78 volts. Well, today we're going to fix that. Ever since I got this new Variac, Whenever I turn Thor's power up to around 80 volts, he shuts off. He periodically turns back on and off. That means the GFCI is tripping. But I'm not sure why, because no matter how wide I tune the gap, this always happens. I think that somehow this Variac has some sort of part in this problem because the max current output of this is 5 amps and no matter how wide I tune the gap from 1 millimeter to half an inch, no matter how wide, it shuts down. I have a friend not too far from here who's built not one, not two, but three spark gap Tesla coils and he's kind of the reason we got young Thor up and running. My wiring was kind of trash. Are we getting anything? You haven't, you haven't fired across the gap yet. Oh, what's wrong with it? But anyway, me and him are going to work on Young Thor and see if we can get this problem out of LA. Were you working on a high current circuit with this? This has, like, burn marks on it. No, it's probably burning something with it. It dips. Ah. Uh. And at about, this is about the point where the Tesla coil would be firing. This is about the point where the BPS goes up and it shuts down. There it goes, the light's blinking. Make sure you're gripping it. You gotta, you squeeze it a little bit harder maybe. <laughs> <laughs> See if it works even. I think your transfer is damaged, but we'll see. There ah, we go. Look at that. Look at that. Keep and that's 1.25 amps. Let's see how much current it can draw through it. Look Check at that. Did it stop? That's exactly what the Tesla coil does right there. Yeah. Uh, if you notice this side here, he's got a rivet on it. So, how do we remove rivets? And you have to grind them off. So, is this a fire hazard? No. Did he? Whoa. That is so cool. What? There it is. Oh Ooh. yeah, it's very potted. Uh. That's okay. That is wow. It's the ground connection. Alright, our transformer is fixed and we can now rep the coil at full power. But first let me talk a little bit more about what we were actually doing. I was actually wrong about the Variac, it was A-OK. -okay. But this little thing was not OK. This GFCI that was in my transformer was shutting the Tesla coil down at 80 volts every time no matter how wide the gap was which was really annoying because I really wanted to see what full power looked like. So we pulled the transformer out of the circuit and tested if it would do the same thing without capacitors. Surely enough, it did. Now the transformer is all rewired just like a regular transformer without a GFCI. Yeah. Good riddance. Alright, so Young Thor is all set up with the new transformer. We chucked the GFCI into the wilderness and now there is nothing stopping Young Thor. So we will be able to fire this up at full power. Let's see. Okay, hopefully this won't get too noisy.
Alright everyone, thank you for watching the Plasma Prince. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and to support my channel by subscribing so we can get closer to our 1000 subscriber goal. Be sure to check out my Instagram where I'll keep all my personal experiments, and for channel news you can check my Facebook. Don't forget to stay safe, do your research, and stay tuned.